I have four five to that health. Olio og Jeppe, 18 år, definitivt med et plan, og anfører på Brøndby 19. Okay, jeg prøver lige en gang til det. Jeg skulle sige det langsomt. Nu er du syget. Ja, nu er jeg syget. Jeg syget mig, mand. Neno, welcome to the clubhouse. Tak. Wow, that's a nice start. But we will do it in English. It's better. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> But, uh, Neno, you're the new uh, under-17 coach here in, uh, in Brøndby, and you've now been here for... How long? Uh, this is the fifth week. Mm. We start 18 of July. We start. How has the first time been here? Yeah, like a roller coaster, yeah, from left to right, from like that. But um, the feeling is very good. Um, the atmosphere um, within the masterclass is, is is very warm. They want to help you. Also, uh, it's not an issue to talk English uh, like that. And uh, but in the first, yeah, you train a lot. You want to know all the names of the players, all the names of the uh, colleagues. And uh, that's right now okay, and now it's rolling and rolling, but very nice. It's nice. This uh, nice weather in Denmark. Uh, right the, now, <laughs> the facilities are very good. Uh, we talk a lot about football. We talk a lot about how can we improve the masterclass. And of course, right now it's uh, the masterclass is a little bit hot with uh, Oscar. We do very well in the first team. That's that's for us an, a good sign to okay, come on, and we must make the uh, the next the next one. Mm. And uh, moving to to Denmark, how has that been for you uh, personally? Yeah, it's 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 an, uh, a whole new life. Um, the kids live with the mother now in Holland. Uh, today is my youngest one. Come with my parents, visiting me. That's, that's nice. But the first three weeks they were here. Uh, yeah, that's the, that's 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 one point I think. From oh, I miss them, but the live in Denmark is very good. I think Copenhagen is a very nice city. Uh, i live in in Rolo with a nice uh, shopping center. Uh, the, the 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 way to the pitch uh, to Brimby is very good. So yeah, I enjoy enjoy to be here. So. And you had your first game uh, last weekend. Uh, you won. Yes, three uh, one. Yeah. Can you put some words on on your first game and what you take from it? I heard last year was Isla was a very tough uh, opportunity for uh, for uh, for the uh, on, uh, for the master class. Um, Uh, we travel alone because the under 17, 19 play before us, so we can watch the game. And I saw the under 15 uh, as a as a pure start against the Weile. The under 19 have a tough start against the under 19. It was long, 1-0, and I saw the style of play was a little bit the same. And that was for for me for the first time very good. And uh, you get an impression, a real impression, how they play, and that. Uh, of course, we have our style of play, but the little details we can put in in the meeting before of the game, and uh, yeah, and the start was very well. We uh, we are spot on from minute one. Uh, we control the game. Uh, we uh, create a lot of chances and, uh, in our style of play, and it was nice to see. This, uh, that was uh, for the. F we worked four weeks very hard f to, uh, for that moment, and we are very happy with the with the result. Yeah, can you put some words on uh, when you put your team on the pitch? How do you want to see them play? What is the style of play, both in master class in general, but also some of the inputs that you have brought in? Yeah, I love. Um, uh, we talk a lot about uh, uh, a lot about uh, the family. You must be a family uh, in the dressing room. You must say what you want. Uh, if if you need some help, if you're happy or what, yeah, you can tell when then when we want to help you. But that we want to also see that on the pitch. Uh, on the pitch, we have all the same emblem. We have to all, uh, all uh, everyone has the same direction. We want to win the game. We want to play a nice, a nice game. Uh, we need each other. She must have a uh, uh, um, connect, connecting to each other. You must communication. Uh, of course, you want to play uh, 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 attractive football with a lot of pressing, uh, and, to, and we want it's our football is also entertainment. That you want to show the people that uh, we are Brimby, but also with nice football on the pitch. Yeah, and that's where we talk about uh, a lot about uh, with the guys. Yeah, because uh, there's some something in the Brumby DNA, like the pressing. You talk about also the the heart, like the. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how does that fit into your philosophy of uh, football? Yeah, that was one of the choice. Uh, also, one of the reasons I choose for Brindby. because uh, I want to go abroad. Mm -hmm. I think it's good for my experience for the next step in my in my in my coach career. 
and then you must find a, a, a club what's uh, 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 fit with your uh, uh, ambition, like a, like a trainer and a coach. And one of these points are Brunby. And uh, just that, yeah, that was one of the reasons why I also chose for Brunby. And uh, how, how do you think of the, the cooperation with the other coaches in, in the masterclass? Because I know you work closely together. Yes, um, for me it was the best start that we start with a uh, five days uh, turner. Mm -hmm. in, uh, uh, we five days together, just I know the, the, the physical step, the, 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 the um, um, straight staff, uh, the, the coach from the 15 with the assistant, the 19 assistant, all was there. Just then you have five days, 24 hours together, then you know each other. And right now we didn't know of uh, we don't know each other really good, but we know how we can work together. Mm -hmm. And the next step is maybe okay, uh, okay, who's Menno also, uh, outside the pitch, or who's Christine outside the pitch, like that. And I think that's very important. Who is Menno outside the pitch? Yeah, I I uh, enjoy life. Uh, you only live once, I tell you always. And you must. Right now I'm here. This I'm. Uh, I'm looking forward to know the, uh, the the way of living in Denmark, for the culture of of, 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 of of the people around here, and of course I, I uh, want to see a lot of uh, Copenhagen and the area. But uh, right now I'm 24 hours busy with football, to watch games, to analyze Champions League games. Uh, how can I prove something to my to my team? Talk a lot of, uh, with with colleagues uh, with on the telephone. And, but also, uh, and when I have the time, of course, I want to go back to my uh, to my kids. Yeah, of course. To my family. Yeah. Mm. And we know that uh, you were before you came here. You were uh, on the 21 coach in uh, in Herrenfeen. Yes. Um, can you take us through like your your career? What what experience do you have? Uh? Yes, I was uh, when I stopped as professional, same a professional player. I was go back to play with the amateurs in Holland, and I thought, from, "Okay, I want to be." I always have some inspired to to become a coach. Mm -hmm. uh, everywhere where I was, I coached some younger team, and then I start an amateur club, and and I'm gonna play in the first team. I take that on the 17, and I get the chance to to the UEFA H course, mm -hmm. a youth. Uh, and then I'm, I live in Heerenveen. That's my my. Uh, I was fan from Jongens from that club and was my ambition to become a trainer over there and for my course I can work there with the under 19 as an assistant coach for two years and I had a very good relationship of the uh, he's right now the head coach of FC Emmen in Holland and he on that moment he worked with FC Groningen he calls me you know the under 13 becomes free uh, mm. of FC Groningen I think it's a really nice step for you it's, I get the call and I get the job over there with assistant of the under 19 I work for FC Groningen. I do that for two years, um, uh, part time. On the other side, I work uh, uh, as a sport teacher in a in an, uh, like a, a, a sort of a jail. Mm. I work as a sport teacher, and the second year I work as a sport teacher on an uh, education for school. And uh, after that, I get the chance to stay with FC Groningen full time, or I go to Heerenveen for the under 15 full time and assistant under 19. And the step from under 13 to 15 was what I liked because I want to uh, become a, a head coach maybe in the future with the UEFA Pro. Mm -hmm. uh, the under 15 was a good step, also for the uh, family of uh, the family here That's that was my my dream to become a trainer over there. After one year, uh, a good year, we become champion. Uh, uh, they asked me to do the under 19. Uh, also a very good year. We. Uh, we promote to the highest level in uh, in in Holland, uh, but it's a shame in that half year become the COVID. This that was uh, that was yeah. How do you say it? The F word. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it, then uh, there was a change in, in the in the academies in Holland. The under 19 they uh, cut off. It become the an under 18, under 21. Mm. And um, then was Gerry Hamstra. He's now former technical director of Ajax. He was toen a technical director of Heerenveen. Uh, conversation, we make a plan for the five years. And we thought the under 21 will be the ne good next step. And I've been for two years an uh, under 21 coach in Heerenveen. And now I thought, yeah, I want to become the, my dream is to become the uh, UEFA Pro license. 
And now I think after four years here of Ain and so much years of uh, professional football in Holland, mm -hmm. uh, now the next step must be uh, be abroad. And so I uh, came to uh, Brunby. Yeah, and we're happy about that. It's 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 very exciting for us to to also uh, get some impulses uh, from uh, from the outside. Um, what do you think you can you can bring um, also from your experience in Holland? Um, no, at first I think every every coach has his own uh, style of coaching. Uh, I'm thinking always positive, and I don't think in problems, but in solutions. And that's maybe all one thing what's different with uh, the culture over here. Uh, but also the style of play uh, in Holland is different as in Denmark. And uh, I like the intensity of Denmark, but in Holland is uh, a lot of tactical and keep the ball. Mm. And if you make that combinations together, you get a style of play where I think uh, a little bit, if you bring a little bit Dutch style of play in Brimby, then we can, can keep longer the ball and uh, maybe so we create chances, we make a lot of goals, but we get uh, less goals behind. And yeah, because that was uh, the, the under 17 uh, team last year, they won <coughs> many games by a big margin, but they also let in many goals. So is that some th of the things that you're working on now to maybe balance that a little bit better? Um, yeah, also, yes. And um, and I think when you get the ball longer, you create also spaces on the pitch with the other team so you can uh, why um, why you can you play own style better because there's more sp you create more space where you want to uh, to play with the ball mm. and uh, and that's 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 the way we're, where we're right now working on with uh, with the step from on the 17 and uh, and also klaus asked me to bring that influence also a little bit to the mascot so we have some discussions from okay he thinks about that but we do like that and what can we prove what maybe okay state that in holland because we want to do this and that's nice to but let's talk about football that's a talk about how can we improve and that's always good do you have like a um, a favorite formation that you want to play or do you look at more at the players that you have uh, or is it something that you talk about in the the other masterclass coaches regarding the Superliga team, or can you give some thoughts on that? Yeah, there is a style of play from Brimby, you know, how we want to play. Uh, and my, um, uh, yeah, how you must say it, um, football in this moment, where it is, it's very dynamic. Mm. It's sometimes it's 4-3-3, three, three, sometimes it's 4-4-2, four foot four foot sometimes it's 3-5-2, uh, uh, like that. Uh, and that's also uh, what we're trying to do. We make with a lot of runs and dynamic uh, some principles uh, back in the in the squad. And if you talk a lot about principles, then formation is only a small part of the of the job, because we we must improve the players so good in the principles that when they go to the first team, it doesn't matter how the head coach want to play. If they want to play five three two four three three, they can improve because the principle stays the same. And that's and that's for us very important in the masterclass. Mm. You mentioned this earlier that you're a very positive person. Also, what I've heard and experienced is that you, uh, also on the sideline, is you don't uh, shout negative uh, at your players. It's always positive uh, things. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Saturday when we are behind, it's <laughs> it's different. No. Maybe. It's uh, it's uh, I know the 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 the, the guys. Um, don't make the mistake uh, uh, because they, they want to make a mistake. No, but uh, and so with the positive, to try to get a feeling with them that they, it's allowed to make a mistake. But what's the what you do after the mistake, and that's very important. Mm -hmm. And if you bring some positive, maybe they come to in a flow. And if it becomes in a flow, and then everything goes early, then you you feel you like uh, very light on the pitch and and like that and. And that's what I try to create with the positive vibe. And, uh, but sometimes also the role, eh? my, my assistant, sometimes he's a little bit harder and I can stay positive or the, the way around. But uh, the intention is, is stay positive because the guys really take a lot of time. We take a lot of time from them, from their 
uh, age, yeah, a lot of uh, friends of her age want to improve the world with going out with, with uh, girls, with like that. Because we take a lot of time and so we must also give them the good feeling that, we, uh, that they are here with, with a reason. And the um, masterclass is a, is a part of, uh, of Brambi and it's all very, very close together here. Yeah. Yeah. What is your impression of the club in general? What, what kind of club is Brambi? Yeah. As you see it. I, when I, I, I talk to some, some, uh, some players uh, who played in, in, in here in Vain, uh, about the club, also Swedish players and they all very positive of, of Brumby. Of course, I know Brumby of in the past Champions League games uh, and, and, and European football. But in Holland, they have only Bundesliga, Premier League, uh, French League and like that on the television. The, the Danish League, not. Uh, but when it was, I, I, I had a good feeling about Brumby. Then you f find on the uh, uh, YouTube, you're going to find the fans of Brumby. Everyone uh, talked about the, the, the fans of Brumby. And it was very exciting. And that was one of the reasons I want to go to uh, Parken to, to, to feel it. And yeah, that's... Uh, uh, Heerenveen, the, 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 we have a very, they call it uh, the theater mm -hmm. public. Uh, but right now, there was a, a, a improve, it becomes better. Mm -hmm. But the, the fans over here, it's, uh, it's, it's insane how they support yeah. each other. No uh, theater here. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Also, when you go to the stadium, everyone is in a yellow or in blue shirt. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. Yes. Yep. Can you put some mo more words on because you went to the derby in the fan section? I'm sure yes. you could have got a ticket to one of the other uh, tri 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 tribunes, yeah. but but you went in the fan section uh, and you went along with the march. Yes. Uh, why? Yeah, that's your. Yeah, I, you, you talk about Brumby family, and uh, if you're in a march, you're one of the family. Then you will feel how how much people uh, love this club, of of uh, so much do for this club. And uh, I, if you're in the march, it was uh, how do you say it? Uh, goosebumps. Goosebumps. You get it. And 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 how the march to the stadium with the f uh, with the fireworks, with the songs, with the with the then they do this, and then you must stand and they're gonna sing a song. Ah, that was very great. And and of course, in the with I have a Brumby shirt, also yellow. I was in the yellow uh, in the with the with the yellow army against the white. Ah, it was really nice to uh, a really great experience. But that's also. I can bring it back to the players. If you want to play for Brumby, it's, it's, it's no, it must be normal that you give everything on the pitch. Because the fans, they give so much for this club. They only ask, they only ask of the players, give 100%, play with your heart and bring passion on the pitch. Now, if you, is that normal uh, for, a, for a player? All the players want to play on the nicest boost and only want to do uh, nice things. But the fans want to see uh, hard work, uh, uh, enjoy, of uh, uh, love this club, mm. and bring that back on the pitch. And that if you between, you see that between the, the the crowd, yeah, that's that's what you can bring it back to the to the masterclass. Yeah, and also uh, this, um, you must have experienced that also in in in, uh, in Brumby Stadium, that it's special for us with our homegrown guys like yeah. Oscar. You could hear that. If he get he gets voted player of the match before Daniel Vess, who yeah. just came home, then it's 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 kind of special. Yeah. How how did you experience that also that it, it really means something what you do in masterclass yeah. means so much. True, true. Yeah, of course. You, yeah, yeah. Um, the first time, the first game I saw uh, in the stadium, you can uh, on the reaction of the crowd, you can hear what a masterclass player is and what not, and that's. That's one of the things I think, yes, yes, this is a club. They really love the masterclass. We must work hard to bring the next yeah, Oscar, maybe not say the next Oscar, but the next masterclass player. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's where we live for. And that's, so it's maybe difficult to say, but that's for us more important than always to win the games. Mm -hmm. Because if we must choose to bring now three on the 70 players to the on the 19, because for the development of the players, they're better. But it's uh, uh, but the results in all 17, then the player is always the number one, mm. and that's sometimes difficult for the outside. But inside the masterclass, uh, it's the program of the players is the most important to try the next player to the master of to the to the Superliga team. Yeah, 
what is uh, your now you watched many games in in Denmark in general um what is your um, what do you think of like the the level in the Super League uh, like compared maybe to Holland and what mm. what else you watch uh, is it Uh, more tactical like uh, what what is i love the intensity mm -hmm. the intensity is f is so much more and uh, uh, uh yeah, maybe it's strange to say i don't know if it's a good word but they work harder on the pitch in holland is uh, keep the ball uh, uh tactical and win the game tactical mm -hmm. and here's a lot of uh, uh, uh intensity and pressing mm -hmm. and that's what i uh, i like in the uh, in the danish uh, league mm -hmm. and sometimes i think from oh Maybe a little bit more Dutch. Uh, Dutch, I don't know. It's, uh, it's Holland is the good word, but sometimes if uh, Johan Cruyff, everyone knows him. He told her, when we have the ball, the other team can score. Mm. Uh, and that's it's, that's logical. And that's sometimes we must think about a little bit more like that. Yeah. Also, one of my last questions here: You saw uh, Daniel Vass uh, come from Atletico Madrid to Brøndby, uh, and that's another case of how much it means um, also for the players. Like, is he also a, a, a case you can use like for the players in the masterclass to see, you can start here, great career, and if you do well for the club, come back here as a hero. Yeah, that's, that's, that, uh, I think that's a very good point. We must give him um, uh, some good feeling uh, about the club. That's, I think, also, Of course, Oscar, we must sell him about mm -hmm. maybe two, three years. We must sell him for a lot of millions because that's good for the club. That's good for the masterclass. But after a couple of years, he must always think about back on Brumby. It was a nice time to give me the chance. They have the proof, I, I improved myself. There was a, um, uh, 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 very important for me. This, if they come like Alves, they always, of Alves, mm -hmm. Alves, they can always uh, back to the, uh, the roots. And that feeling we must give uh, the player that they always be proud on uh, where they come from. And now on uh, on Saturday you have your second game uh, as the, the manager for under 17. Um, what is your uh, what do you expect? Want to see for like the whole season? Do you have some uh, how do you say målsetninger in English? I don't know. <laughs> do you have some goals uh, set for the team? Um. We want our goal is to play our style, uh, uh, also against uh, big teams, uh, big, uh, the bigger clubs. Uh, create in our style a lot of chances and uh, uh, try to be uh, the boss on the pitch. And the boss on the pitch is not always to have uh, the most of the ball, but you can also control the game with sometimes a little bit more defense. And in the switch, be uh, be uh, 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 how do you say it? Um, try to make goals in the switch. But in our style of play, we must improve that we uh, always try to be control the game in the situations. And with a lot of passion, with a lot of positivity, with connection, uh, with uh, 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 hopefully uh, a lot of entertainment. And that's what uh, we'll bring back on the, on the pitch this season. Perfect. And from here to the guys watching this interview, come out on the pitch on Saturday and all the home games, watch some... Uh, I, heard football. I heard this, uh, uh, the tickets uh, are not sell out, this, there is place enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's for free, come uh. watch the future <laughs> of the of the Brumby team. It's, uh, yeah, it's of fun. course, that's that's good for the, also good for the, for the guys to, uh, like the, the last game, the last, uh, uh, how do you say it, uh, uh, cup, the cup, cup final, final with all the crowd. If that's sometimes possible for the, for the players with, play with a little bit pressure of the fans, I think it's very good for them, for to, uh, also for their uh, development. Great. Um, yeah. Then I just want to say thank you for joining us here. It was a pleasure. Yeah, and then I said, tak, and I tak, sinak, tak, 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 si tak. How do you say it in, in Danish? Yeah. No, you know, tak. 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 Tak is good. I say, I say tak, then you say, oh, sel tak. Sel tak. Sel tak. Yeah. Sel -tak. Sel -tak. Sel -tak.